and you can make them even smaller if you make the smaller square. This guy's only one and a half inches and it made a little flower. Okay. And then if I take two of these guys and put it together, I can make what I would call a bud. I just put two of them together and made a bud. Or some other kind of fantasy flower. Okay, and then again, you're gonna cut that extra part off. Okay, all right. Woohoo, we're cruising. Okay, let's go on to our fantasy flower here. That's white also. Let me grab some more of the white. And this is done very similar to our little um, violet. I have a little bit of water on this, so it's a little sticky. There is a question. Sure. On the work surface, do you use flour or cornstarch to keep the fondant from sticking? I use cornstarch. Some people use powdered sugar. You can use whatever floats your boat, but I use cornstarch. It does in it does dry out cornstarch dries out your fondant faster, and because it's very sticky where I'm at, that's what I use. But if you don't want to dry your fondant, it's best to use powdered sugar. That has a little cornstarch in it anyway. Okay. I've got something stuck on here. All right, so I've got some white again, and I'm going to use the this uh, one and a quarter inch round circle cutter. Now, the thing about this flower, believe it or not, I mean, it's only four petals. Whatever size cutter, that's going to be the finished size of the flower. So if this is the finished size of the flower that you want, whatever finished size you want, that's what you want to cut the petals, believe it or not. So you cut four of these. Because you're folding them up, it ends up being the same size. So let's see if I can do this fast enough without it drying out on me. And you flip these over so that you've got the wrong side facing you. There we go. Again, be careful of that fold. Okay, there we go. And we're going to do just like we did with the um, with the bottom of the violet, you're going to take a tuck and then another tuck and another tuck. Okay, and bring those pointy ends down to the base here. Okay, and squeeze it. And that makes a nice round petal. I probably should be doing these bigger so you can see them better, but I'm so used to working tiny. And as you can see, you fold it so much that the petals are now a quarter of the size they started, which is why we end up with, whoops. Okay. And then we just join them together and I put them together in twos. So a little water at the side and the base, put them together. And then again, to join those two sets. There it is. Probably make shamrocks if you did them in green. They're pretty close. You can get a little dent in there to make it look almost heart shaped. You can dent that. Or you can put two together to make it look heart shaped. Okay. Anyways, there they are. And then again, you're going to cut that stem off in the back now that you no longer need it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some leaves. There's two different ways to do leaves. 
Um, one is using the square, so I'm going to use the square cookie cutter, and we're, we're going to do it just like we did that white fantasy flower. You're going to fold it in half and in half again. Again, thinning that, but don't damage it. Don't damage that fold. And then again, if you need to, use um, water to attach it. Okay, see how I've got that nice and we're just going to take a couple tucks and then bring those down. And that is relief. I got a little fold right there that you don't want to see. There we go. Okay, so there's a leaf. And I've got a couple of them here. You can play around with them. You can, you know, they're ribbons, so they're all going to pretty much look the same. There is another way to do leaves. It's a little more advanced, but um, you can do leaves or petals this way. And I like this because you can do a two-toned petal, which is kind of cool. Okay, so you can do either leaves this way or two-toned petals this way, I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is another option. I'll show you how to do it. And this, if you put a whole bunch of these together, you can make a flower, obviously, or if you do them in green, it's a leaf.